Hello Tractor Addicts, in this episode we're going to try and do a little bodge repair on the pressure plate because this one cannot be repaired and I can't source one in the UK so the plan is is to try and create a, a mild steel plate which will go inside here we'll cut this shape out and we'll try and build back up this area with the lugs and what we're going to do we're going to measure the lug height from the bottom of here and we'll deduct that from a plate so we end up with the same height back in here drill the holes through and bolt it through into the cast hopefully that'll do as a temporary fix then we can see if we can get it going <laughs> What I've done here is set this bit of angle line up in the mill, we're just going to drill that here and further back. And the idea is for that is so I can actually, when I come to clamp this plate down, I can use that to get it on a bit of wood clamped out of the bed, then I'm not holding it when we try to drill it with a hole saw and uh, losing my fingers. Wow, wow, bring the music back. What I've just done here is sprayed a little bit of spray paint through where the bolts will go in the end and just popped a centre hole in them. These bolts cannot protrude past the plate once it's in there. So what we need to do is drill a hole big enough so the bolt actually goes through that and it'll sit on the space as we're going to make. And I actually found a, a bit of flat bar, it's 10 mil, it's, it's not the best but it'll clean up and it should give us the right size space so we're after 
So the plan is to drill these out, then we can make the, the packer spacer pieces and look at getting it all together. Then hopefully the bolt should not protrude through the pressure plate and that should give us something to work with. So we're just going to pilot some holes through the plate and go to a bigger size just to allow plenty of clearance for the bolts to go in. I've done it's the mild steel to the cast obviously that's it's not going to be a, a structural weld that was just to hold it in place we'll actually we'll bolt through from the cast we'll look at countersinking some bolts because we can't afford to have anything higher on here So this is just a, a bit of a test fit, obviously the spring would go in between there. And I think once we get these in the right position, so that's actually engaged. But get the bolts in. We're looking good. Super speed. So that's it with the bolts back in. Bear in mind this top piece is only tacked onto that mild steel plate, so we'll go gentle. But you can see here, we can focus in a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. The teeth have actually meshed in with the plate. So I think we're at the point where I can weld all them tacks up good and proper and look at drilling, countersinking and bolting through into this plate then maybe a weld on the back side of that as well to hold that. So we'll crack on. So it's now time to get Miggy with it. Just give that five to cool down before we do any more. So what I've just done, I've just uh, drilled through here, here and here and countersunk them with, it actually worked out this big drill bit, I've got the profile actually matched the head the same so you can see that it's, it's about the same. So we've run that through and tapped out the holes for the bolts. Next one please. So that should be good, it's mild steel on mild steel, just clamping to the cast. Yeah, looking good. So I've just gone a little bit crazy with the MIG, I've just gone right round the inside of here on the spare material, and my theory behind that is it'll stop any movement sideways, so it'll help to sort of reinforce these bolts as well. So the bolts are getting a clamping force and that'll stop it moving sideways. I know the MIG won't penetrate into the cast and create a proper weld, it's more just to, to stop it moving sideways.
here we have a little bit of bonus footage of the boy doing a little bit of work for the local council, pulling small boats off the beach. 